Thanks for checking out No Limit Texas Hold'em with Tom. I am, of course, Tom, and I'm going to try to make this a weekly series on Channel 4110. As you see here in the background, um, uh, this particular video is going to be uh, focused on Zynga Poker. I'm just going to go through a couple of recent hands that I've played. I'll offer my uh, rationale as to why I do what I do in the certain hands. Um, and I'm also looking for some feedback uh, from the viewers to help me get better at this game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. As you see, the first hand I played was ace-jack offsuit. I was in mid position at the table. Uh, so, you know, good hand, nothing spectacular. Certainly wanted to call with it. And a uh, decent raise. Uh, not really enough to scare me away. You know, I still certainly want to see the flop with Ace Jack. And we slowly work around to me. And we see the flop is 297 Rainbow. Really not much help to me. I still have the Ace, still have the Jack, still have the uh, two high cards. Now one of the players goes in, puts in a bet of 41000 You know, really at this point, he could have a two and it's going to beat me. So I go ahead and fold. And we'll play this out and see what happens. Uh, three players left. That's a, uh, a hell of a board. You know, you're you're thinking straight right off the bat. I'm glad that I got out of this, or I would have wasted some money. And that's usually my strategy. I try to limit my losses and increase my winnings as much as I can. And lo and behold, there is the straight. So I think I made the right call getting out of that one when I did. So then we're going to jump to the next hand that I actually played. As you see, I'm on the button. I've got King-10 suited. Again, not a powerhouse, but my position at the table, um, along with these cards, I'm feeling pretty good. So I start off with a, with a raise. Next two players call. And I've got high pair. So I'm going to go ahead and test the waters here, see if I can push anyone else out. Get the uh, player to my left to fold. So it's down to me and one other person. I, I couldn't have hit anything better besides possibly another 10. So now I get ultra aggressive. Nice big bet. And win the pot. All right, next hand uh, came all the way back around to the button again. I've got Jack King offsuit. The majority of the players are staying in this one. You know, a little raise by me. Um, you know, not a powerhouse of a hand. If it was suited, I'd feel a little bit better about it. But, you know, I am in good position. Uh, I did get one person to fold. Everybody else sticking around, so. So we get the flop. Not much help to me. Um. Got a pretty substantial raise, almost 100K. Um, I have nothing whatsoever at this point. You know, to me, it's just not worth it to see the turn. I'm hoping that I get a king or a jack, and then honestly, if somebody has an ace, I'm beat anyway. So and we'll see what happens.
And I do apologize, Zynga Poker is not the most aesthetically pleasing. But there we have a straight, so again, made the right decision getting out when I did. All right, next hand I decide to play is A7 suited. I'm in late position on the board. Or at the table, I should say. And we got the flop and absolutely no help to me with the possibility of, uh, you know, getting a two and a four. So there we turn over a, a pair of threes uh, with the turn. I do have the, the top kicker. Um, You know, a $20,000 bet's not going to be enough to scare me away from wanting to see the river. It's a king. That puts me in a little bit of a precarious position. If somebody has a king, I'm toast. So I'm not even going to chance it at this point. I get out with the final three battle for it. And we have somebody didn't have the king, but they had a set of threes. So glad I got out. All right, next hand here, I have a Jack-10 offsuit under the gun, so in really uh, poor position. Need to be extra cautious here. But I do have an open-ended straight draw, so a, a 7 or a Queen will put me in a really nice position. Turn a four, not much help at all to me. It's still hopeful we can hit something on the river. Nobody's pushing me out of the pot, so I'm going to hang around. And lo and behold, since I wasn't pushed out of the pot, I wound up uh, getting top pair on the river. So I'm going to place a small value bet. You know, if anybody comes over the top with a, you know, and raises me, I, I probably would fold. But uh, it gets the job done. All right, next hand we move on to is Queen-King offsuit in small blind position. I'm certainly going to play this hand. And I throw in a little raise to uh, see if I can get some players to fold. Lessen the uh, pool of competition. Get a couple to fold. Next guy calls me. Next player calls as well, and I flop top pair. I'm going to come back in with another bet, 40K. See if I can push these guys out. I can't. Couldn't have asked for anything better. I turn a set of kings. Now I get really aggressive, go with 100K, and I bully them both out of the pot. Okay, then we move on to 8A suited. I'm about middle position on the table, so not optimal, a decent hand. So, you know, we're going to certainly take a stay about it for 20K. And, of course, as you've noticed, this is the 20K, 10K table. And so we got a uh, raise of uh, up to 60,000. I'm going to put in the extra 40 and see what we've got. Once again, I flop top pair. But the, the board is interesting. Now, when somebody goes with such a substantial raise as 320,000, you know, I'm thinking, you know, they've got to have something good <laughs> you know so they've either got two pair or some miraculous chance they have aces so I get out of this one and we'll see what we've got here got some a big money pot and lo and behold the the original razor that pushed me out had kings which at the time he did that and I folded I was actually up but the very next card gave him the set so I made the right call getting out of that one Okay, then we move on to Jack, Queen offsuit. I'm in early position. Again, need to be extra cautious. 
not going to throw a lot of money at this, but I would like to see the turn, or sorry, I would like to see the flop. I'd like to see the turn as well, especially after seeing that. So if nobody's going to push me out, I'm just going to hang around and I'll check and see what we get. Turn doesn't do me any good. Checking around to the river. Of course, that has straight written all over it. I've got absolutely nothing. You know, that 10K bet's going to push me out. This guy puts in 20. I've got nothing. There's no need for me to even take a stay about it. The odds are someone's got a six. Someone's got at least a pair of twos. And this, the winner did have a six. Wins with a straight. All right. Next hand I decided to play was King A suited. I'm under the gun, so again, need to be cautious. As it slowly but surely works its way over to me. Nobody getting aggressive. Right away, I... Uh, flop a potential flush. And with ace king, I'm uh, in really good position here. Uh, pretty decent raise. So it puts me in a position where, you know, I have to really think here do I want to risk it in the hopes of turning up a, a heart with the next two cards? And I'm certainly going to see the uh, the turn. The player on the top left now gets really aggressive, uh, puts in a bet of 1.1 million, and I'm not risking the river to be a heart, or hoping it's a heart uh, for that kind of coin. So we get out of that. Don't know what he had, but I'm happy to give him the pot there. Okay, queen jack offsuit. I'm in late position. So this is a little bit better for me. Flop comes, absolutely nothing. If I had a king or an ace, I may have uh, raised there to try to, you know, bluff some people into dropping out. We turn an ace. Nobody is being aggressive. I'm going to hang around. Then we have the uh, eight on the river. No help to me at all. I'm not even going to waste 20000 I get out. You think somebody... I mean, at least, again, has a two, but a pair of aces. So I'm glad I got out when I did. Okay, second to the last hand here, believe it or not. And this is the very next hand. Uh, no editing here. It was another queen jack offsuit. So this time I try to, you know, still in late position. I go ahead and, and raise instead of checking. And the flop is both good and bad for me. I got a pair of queens, and I have four diamonds. Um, but at this point, anybody with an ace has a leg up on me. 20,000 certainly isn't going to push me out with the possibilities that I have. If I can turn a queen, turn a diamond, um, even turn a jack. Unfortunately, it's three of hearts. Got a 20k bet. Again, that's not enough to push me out. I want to see the river for 20,000. And now another small $20,000 bet. I do have a pair of queens. Odds are one of these two players has an ace, but for $20,000, i will give it a shot. Why not? And lo and behold, we don't have the ace, but the uh, player there in the top left had two pair. So, you know, I uh, limited my loss uh, pretty well there. And this is going to be the final hand of the video. Uh, I got king ace offsuit in big blind position. And, uh, you know, if it was suited, obviously it would be a much better hand. Still pretty strong, so I'm going to come over the top here with a raise. Take it up to 60,000. Um, I get re-raised. We're up to 80. I can't get rid of anybody. So we've got four guys here. Uh, right off the bat, you see I get a, a nice flop in terms of I have a, um, a flush draw. And this is what makes No Limit Texas Hold'em such a wonderful game. I'm in a position here where I've got a good hand. Uh, I've got a potential to get a uh, 
a really nice flush, a king high flush. Uh, we got a, a million dollar bet on the board. Another player's already called. It's up to me. I make the call. And there's really only one thing that can beat me here, and I know that, which is going to be the ace, ace of spades. Um, so it's worth taking the risk here. <laughs> Lo and behold, uh, somebody had ace of spades. Not only that, he had uh, pocket aces. But that's the game of No Limit Texas Hold'em. You know, in that type of position, I got a, a, a king high flush. I, I can't walk away from that. Um, so, you know, I uh, gave it my best shot. I was eliminated there. Um, I go into a table typically with a certain amount of money. I went into that one with just a million uh, dollars in chips. Um, that way I can limit my loss. Uh, typically I do not lose. I guess that's the mark of at least a, a decent poker player. I'm uh, still very new at the game. Um, I certainly win more than I lose. I can continue to increase my bankroll. But you're going to have times like this too. So um, you have the, uh, the prompt there to buy back in. I usually don't do that. You know, when I lose big like that, I shut it down. I walk away. We live to fight another day. So uh, there you go. That's going to be uh, my first No Limit Texas Hold'em with Tom. Uh, just sharing some of my thoughts on each of the hands, why I did what I did. Um, you know, anybody out there that's much, much better than I am, which there are a lot of you, and hopefully you're watching this video. If you have any suggestions for me, please comment below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, I am building my way up to my first live poker tournament here at the end of August, um, August 2014. So, uh, you know, wish me luck. We'll see what I can do in that as well. So any suggestions and tips you can give me or if there's anything that you uh, want me to try to answer for you, I'm happy to do that as well. So once again, thanks for watching the video and uh, look forward to, forward to seeing you back here again on Channel 4110.